Well, it's a beautiful day. I mean, crazy beautiful. Driving up to the ranch, it's like a 10 minute, just gorgeous, no signal, beautiful thing that I'm grateful for when I come back from the gym or from town to have this really peaceful transition back into my home and office and the same when I come in reverse. So today I'm super grateful for the drive, for the ranch, for this weather, and for a mission. And that mission is to spread kindness, love, and gratitude out to humanity um, through all things that I do. So one of the things that I wanted to take a second and speak to my petcoats.com family and the people who choose to support us there is just to tell you I'm sorry. Um, we have had just an absolute difficult time since kind of the COVID supply chain issues as well as trying to scale the growth of the company to keep up with inventory and shipping and fulfillment and from everything from being able to get thread and and have stuff completed on time and to do all that stuff I mean you know it's we we can blame COVID and successfully I mean they they definitely the supply chain issues was an enormous thing literally doubling the time frame of everything we tried to get done but we also need to kind of hold some responsibility ourselves and just being undermanned and undercapitalized to be able to really make problems go away quickly with money or manpower. And so we did our, our best and we fell short. Um, we consistently this summer shift, shipped lots of items, two to three months delayed. And I'm just not okay with that. And I'm asking for your forgiveness. We are working so diligently and have been for about nine months to make sure that never happens again. And at great cost and vulnerability. We have shifted all our manufacturing to another facility uh, for our high volume stuff. And some portions of the assembly and shipping and receiving and fulfillment and customer service is still out of that same facility. But we simply had to have a solution to two problems. Number one is, we couldn't scale and keep up under our current manufacturing um, system. We just couldn't do it. And, and uh, so we had no choice but to kind of pivot. And that was a, a kind pivot. Nobody, nobody got hurt in that process. Nobody's feelings are hurt or that sort of thing. We remained loyal and kind and thoughtful. And um, the other thing is, is that I believe we're one of the only companies I know of in the soft goods business and this sort of thing that hasn't seen a huge price increase this year. And because of the pivot and because of the higher volume and the huge capital outlay that we've done to now have many of our items in stock with about a year and a half of inventory on the shelves, because of that increased volume, we were able to save enough to where we didn't have to increase prices. And I'm super, super proud of that because the pack goat community in general and the goat community have a tendency to be people who have chosen that animal because they're more affordable and they're cost conscientious people. And so we busted our butts to make sure that there was no price increases and we haven't had it. Um, not only that, we now have five of our most popular items stacked on the shelves ready for a year and a half of availability and we're now working on the other half so we got 50 percent done that was a nine month process now we're tackling the other 50 percent but with the relief of the previous 50 percent on the demands on the other 50 percent we are going to be fully caught up sometime in the next 30 to 45 days once we're caught up we then should be able to keep up until the remaining 50% is on the shelves and we'll be ready for the busy season again next spring. And so we are working so hard. So please forgive us. Um, you know, we just, as a company, we lack the capital, the strength and the manpower to make quick moves. And we are still, I, I still pick up the phone. People all the time say, wow, I didn't expect you to pick up the phone when I called the website. Well, that's, the size of company we are despite what people think you know I'm still picking up the phone for customer service and helping people out and you know my staff is constantly drinking from a fire hose and we don't have the budget to hire more and I don't, I don't want you to feel sorry for me we're creating some really abundant things for the near future but man we have had to tighten our belt and feel like we couldn't answer the dilemmas for the last year 
it's been really hard um, for somebody who is driven and isn't willing to deal with things that aren't working boy I had to really learn some new ways and so you know hopefully you know we didn't hurt too many feelings and hopefully um, we went the extra length with those that were inconvenienced I know we did um, and um, you know we, we hope to continue to do our best to always earn your business because we don't just arbitrarily deserve it. Um, we need to earn it as a company. And the other thing I want to say is that as a motto for this company has always been help people first, bring value, big, bring kindness, bring awareness, help goats, help people, help pack goats. And then when we've accomplished all those missions, abundance in the form of money will always show up and it has and it is and it's continuing to, to happen and and I do see an abundant future for us we've really worked our tails off and um, I hope you'll continue to support us through all of that so my main message is I'm sorry we fell back a little and we are doing our best to catch up we are doing our best to be progressive about making sure that never happens again. And I just want to express my deep gratitude of your willingness and patience in these times to stick with us as a company and root us along. And I'm just super deeply grateful for all those out there that support us. So thank you so much.